They want to take away your health care, your health insurance. They want to take it away. Democrats are now the party of high taxes, high crime, open borders, late term abortion, killing your Second Amendment and radical socialism. The Republican Party is the party that America wants. That's what America wants. President Trump, they're hitting a theme we could see a lot more of when he really hits the campaign trail for 2020, uh, going after Democrats in Congress and some seeking the 2020 presidential nomination who are proposing or backing progressive policies. Things like the Green New Deal, Medicare for all, free college and universal basic income. Republicans casting the ideas as socialists. And some recent polling shows Americans have mixed feelings on such policies. Nearly six in 10 voters in recent Monmouth University polls say socialism is not compatible with American values. In that same poll, 60% say they think socialism takes away too many rights. How does that actually? Yeah. However, 60% also believe it makes things fairer for working people. And about that same number, 58% say they are in favor of universal health care. My brain right. just blew up. I know. Does that even have to do all that? Yeah, how does that even compute, David? You know what I think it is? <laughs> no matter what your politics, a little free stuff goes a long way. What were you so some of those polls and what they ultimately underlie is that there's not one area in basic America, whether it be we're going to have a better future, we're going to have a better future for our kids, it's going to be a better quality of life. Capitalism always wins. The one area where it's even close, even close, is universal health care. Mm -hmm. Because Americans Healthcare are so frustrated with the current yeah. system that the they'll consider it. The cost. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's a moral yeah. issue as well to some that, you know, it's one thing to say, okay, we're going to tax everybody and take your money away and the government can do things better than you. But when it comes to something like health care, and I'm not an advocate for Medicare for all, but when it comes to things like health care, people think that, you know, we're all human. We should, we should all get some affordable access to be able to get treated. Can, can I tell you why health care for all is actually immoral? Because what you're saying is when you give out health care to everybody, just look at England, the quality goes way down. And all of a sudden, the people who can afford to get good care, the people who can f afford to fly to New York and go to Memorial Sloan Kettering, those people are all better off. And the people who have this free health care are stuck well, in this hence system. Hence why I'm not an advocate for Medicare where they're for all. Die. But, but to frame it as but a moral concept, issue, come but, right back with you're really creating but a But I think in a very system. basic sense, people think that you should be able to get access to health care because we're all human. And I think they see it right now almost as a two-tiered system. Um, and so much I, worse. I, I don't disagree with you. Yeah. I think there's a lot other better ways to fix the health care system than Medicare for all. I, I also think that one of the biggest gifts that Democrats gave to Republican, especially AOC, was the Green New Deal, because it is the Trojan horse for socialism. They act like it's about the clean environment, but in the name of the environment, they do all kinds of things like provide for income with no work, um, you know, destroy the entire carbon income economy. Income from people who, according to AOC and others, may yeah. not want to work. Right. And, and they use, you know, we see it here in New York City, where they use greenness in order to raise revenue to outlaw things that they don't like. And it's mm -hmm. just this Trojan oh, horse that. that when you so, pick apart, it's a uh, mess. You know, the, the other issue here, Dagan, and I, I really want to get your thoughts on this. You talk about the morality. The other issue here is that one party then gets to call the other party immoral. That's not really what this is about. I mean, if you have a child who needs cancer treatment, you really don't care if Republicans and Democrats think each other are immoral. You just want the help. Right. And, and they're, again, it just shows that they're fighting about the wrong thing. And the language is key here. What, just really quickly on the it's not the way that you argue against socialized medicine is you're literally putting those decisions about your health care in the hands of whatever bureaucrat happened to win yeah. an office in recent years. You're putting those health care decisions in the hands of a Bernie Sanders or, if that's or a, a, a Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. what if that person doesn't like your politics? What did we learn from the IRS targeting? I mean, it right. can happen in any agency. Right. In terms of, I, look, I think about cancer care, it's, they literally, to make the cost work, somebody down 
in that swamp of Washington, D.C. is going to get to decide if you're 90 years old, you're not getting that $100,000 cancer, that immunotherapy drug, because you're 90. Or you can actually or build maybe, upon. Or what if it's a 60-year-old? No, well, only if, only if we can build upon. There are actually aspects of the Affordable Care Act that are market-driven, that provide incentives in reimbursement for improving health outcomes. That's the way that we need to go. Well, That's how you control costs. That's how Joe Biden would probably to bring her back this around to the very beginning, though. It's why capitalism must prevail. Because if we're going to have innovation, it has to be done by researchers in labs who are trying to find the next cure. It's, it's trying to find new medical devices. All that happens in a strong economy, which is what we You're have right. now, which is centered on American capitalism. You may be yep. outnumbered, but you just got an amen from somebody <laughs> on the couch. Yep. All right, moving on.